hello there, Bic Benedict here. We're playing God of War, Ghost of Sparta on God difficulty, and this is my Pain Plus guide and walkthrough. We're currently on installment the ninth, and it looks like 10 installments is not going to be the final number, probably 12 if I had to take a guess. I'm sorry that I guessed wrong earlier in the walkthrough when I uh, thought that there were going to be 10 parts. Ah, so we've arrived now at Atlantis. The video length is a long one, is it not? So we've got a lot to do here. A lot of difficult things to do here. The first of which is not difficult. And that's kind of strange to say because it involves a Geron. But, um, for some reason this Geron up here has, um, has two, uh, two, I don't know, people with him. And they are the uh, Atlantis assassins, the one that throw, the ones that throw that uh, uh, that blade. And there will be a fight coming up too, where I do accidentally parry a projectile. Um, but the fight itself forces you to either use that method or to um, use the arms of Sparta. But we won't see that you know right away so come on in here and you can get a lot of damage right off the back on this guy now when you damage this guy too much and he gets pissed um, he will um, do a, um, a, a drive back and um, turn completely around with this thing actually so it's um, an incredible um, dickish thing of him to do, I guess. But, um, you know that move that I was talking about on the Gerons? Um, uh, anyway, I just wanted to talk about this. The first time he, he, uh, the Geron, pair, uh, uh, teleports, that is the time that you'll have those two, uh, spawners up there. And that's all the spawners there are for this engagement. Just him and the Geron. So, remember this fight, folks, because later in the video we will be in a similar room. Um, well, I guess it's not too similar. The colors are similar. Um, but we'll be fighting to it at the same time. So, if you haven't readied yourself for the Gerons, not to worry, because you can practice it here if you want to. You can practice it in the uh, combat arena. What I don't like about this enemy, though, is that there are times where he will quickly do a... Um, an AOE around him and it tends to happen at random because sometimes when I loiter around this guy too much stick too close to him he does it and sometimes I will just run up to him from not being around him at all and he does that move and it's a very quick move it's a rare move of his that he does and I formerly thought it was only on God difficulty, but it is on hard difficulty as well. And probably all the difficulties. Um, this is not a game that gives um, enemies new moves just because they're on a different difficulty. The th thing that it does is that it just damages you more and makes, um, makes your life more difficult because things are going to take more to hit. You might have the circle button over the Geron sometimes and you might not even know it because he's so tall. And if he's pushed up close to the screen, you won't know that he's um, waiting to be executed. I, I think there should be some more of a signal, quite honestly. But be, be very careful. What usually happens to me is I do the super plume and I hold the triangle button down too long at the end and I do that upward slash and get caught in his electricity attack from the front. So you need to be very careful um, because the triangle button is extremely sensitive um, when you're doing combos. So input the command and just do not um, leave your thumb on the triangle for very long. Just don't do it because uh, it's just so damn sensitive, and it's actually kind of funny to watch Shinobi's videos and uh, and see him accidentally doing it too, uh, because he there he does it in places that I would do it too, and there's no uh, rhyme or reason why. Um, well, here we are. Here we are back with this enemy. I hate this enemy. I just don't like it. I don't think it's fun. 
I really don't. Damn. That's another reason I hate them too. If you want to, you can stand in the doorway of the room you just left and, and nail these guys with uh, super plumes ad nauseum if you like. Holy shit. God. Hate that. You also have iframes when you're lassoing the enemy around with your chains. Um, I do it all the time. But in between, um, in between those, I'll, I'll show you right here if I do it. Um, anyway, every time you drop the enemy and pick them up again, there's a brief moment where you're not where you don't have iframes, so you need to be aware of that when you're playing on uh, on this high difficulty. This is an optional fight. If you want to skip it, you can. I like this area quite a bit, quite a bit, but there is going to be a fight with some more of those assassins and their spam happy tricks that they have up their sleeves and I really hate it. So it really is your choice. Once once we get to the Jaron, will you employ the harpy method or not? It's up to you. It's your it's your um it's your campaign. I don't want to tell you anything, but I would recommend trying to get good at dodging the Jaron's attacks rather than getting familiar and comfortable with having a harpy flying around when you're trying to fight a Jaron. I just find it too distracting and it's um, it's it's just a matter of me being in less control and being less um, capable to need, need to do what I need to do at a moment's notice and what I'm talking about is having that harpy mess around with me when I'm trying to do a specific thing and if he wasn't there I could just focus on the Gerons. Yes, two Gerons. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to live with it, folks. It's gonna be two Gerons, um, and it is a patient game because you know how the Gerons just love to teleport. They do it like every 15 seconds, so you really don't want to get caught in. Um, in uh, patterns with the Gerons where you don't have enough time to attack. Now, sometimes their teleports can coincide with one another, but they usually branch off just so, so that you'll, you'll have a certain opportunity that you'll recognize while you're fighting them, and then that will be your opportunity for that fight. It's, it's different almost every time. For the Gerons. Okay. Yeah. Bad checkpoint here. A boring part. Um, when you get on this thing, there are going to be um, the Tritons, uh, standard class of Tritons on this, and also the the Lords. But it's difficult to tell what shade they are because of the already blue color in the environment. So basically, the first couple of uh, the first two uh, assassins, you don't have to worry about them too much. Now, now, did you see what happened? I accidentally parried. But we can't leave this room until we um, we get out of this. Um, Oh, those. Okay, so we don't need to we don't need to kill those ones. The only ones we need to kill will be the ones on the level up there with the with the two chests. So I um I have I've come more to terms with uh, accidental parries. Do you know the fight with the cyclopses and the bugs? The one that I always talk about. Had I done that no damage and got an accidental parry or two, I wouldn't have um, been, you know, having a problem with that. Because I've, I've been looking at other walkthroughs online for Pain Plus, and um, it just happens. It's, it just happens. It's an accident. So as long as it, it's an accident, and 
um, as long as it's a part of the fight, there's no problem with it. So at this point, it's not going to let me leave the room until we finish these ones. So I'm going to use the uh, the javelins to uh, take them out. Okay, now we're going to be coming up. This is the room where the Gerons are when we come back. Uh, you don't need to go to the left. You just need to come down here. There's going to be a cutscene, and then we will be doing a fight with um, some more of the uh, some more of the Triton Lords. So after the cutscene, we're gonna head over here to the left. Save your progress if you wish, and then when you get out here, there's gonna be a bunch of these guys scaling the building. And to be honest, I, I think that it's a little bit too difficult of an enemy, uh, given the parameters of what this game entails uh, with field of view. Now, if the field of view could be wide so I could know what was going on around me, you know, that would be very helpful. But as it stands, field of view um, changes all the time depending on where you're at because the camera is automatic in so many, you know, in the entire game. No changing it. It's preset angles for you. And this enemy just always makes me nervous because. If I can't see him, then he's probably off screen ready to um, attack me or run at me or just give me an altogether bad time. The checkpoint for the next fight is, is uh, one of the worst in the game. It's horrible. So once you're, you're done, damn. That probably could have hit me too. That's why I really get mad with this enemy. I wish you could just ring them out somehow a little bit easier. But after you do this fight, there are three um, supporting beams over here that you need to break down enough so that you can uh, push push them off this area and then shuffle onward. But the checkpoint is after this, so it's really bad. <laughs> Imagine if the checkpoint was right before this, you had to do this every time. It's It's bad. It's really bad. The next fight that's coming up involves those Gorgons and the Tritons that I believe I mentioned. Uh, so as we and the the bad thing is is that once you um, start climbing the wall over here after you destroy these posts, um, the checkpoint is down here. So it's um, it's one of those fights that is again uh, ruined by a bad checkpoint. You have to do this every time, starting from where I where I mentioned. And then all the way over here, it's just a disgrace. It's a big disgrace. There's also a fight coming up. Uh, well, there's two, in fact, that deal with um, uh, some. How, how do is it, how how do I go? Um, let me see, let me just say this. The first fight. Oh, let's just talk about this just for one second. Okay, so down here there are gorgons, and then there are the the lords. I'm pretty sure they're the lords. Um, so the best thing to usually do, and this is acceptable on a pain plus run, um, because you're not deflecting the beam, you're just letting the gorgons kill the other enemies. But if you combat roll around this area and try to make the gorgons um, stone freeze and then shatter the um, the tritons, you're probably going to have a little bit of a difficult time, and you're probably going to get hit because um, those tritons love to just jump around and hit you. So the best thing I thought to do was to just go up to the top and deal with the Tritons. There is a, a, a finite number of them. I'm not sure how many there were. Look like six at least, right? Um, but once you clear those six out or whatever it is, then you can come down here and focus on the Gorgons. Uh, Gorgons in this game rarely hit with their arms, so it's kind of strange. Um, but, you know, once there's Gorgons around, you can just use them to kill each other. You can use... Uh, them to kill um, you know minotaurs if they're there because after we deal with the crummy fight coming up excuse me uh, drank too fast um, once we deal with the crummy fight we'll deal with the fight with the gorgons and the minotaur and it's a beautiful fight 
Um, I've also got a little bit of uh, information to relay about the Gerons fight. Um, but first, I, I think it's um, more than uh, deserving of now talking about the shit that goes on in this next fight. Um, and I, I'm mainly talking from a person who's really trying to do it without getting hit. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make the quality of this walkthrough good in all respects. The commentary, which I'm not the best commentator, I realize that, but I, I do try to, you know, inform and teach and and sometimes joke around. Although it's difficult to tell when I joke, huh? Because I have a dry uh, humor set, but. Um, and also my face, I have a flat affect too, so my face doesn't emote uh, much um, to suggest feelings. So that, I don't know if that comes across through the microphone, but it, it does in real life, obviously. Um, anyway. Oh yeah, I was, uh, I was more than pissed at this part. Um, this part is utter shit and it's very easy to get hit over here um, because of these uh, bags of shit. There are a couple of spawning holes over here that you can just stand over. Uh, well, actually, don't stand over them or they won't spawn out of them. Just stand near them and then grab all of the and grab kill all of the assassins that you can um, from, you know, that pop up. And then after that, deal with the um, deal with the rest of the ones that are already spawned from the beginning of the fight. Um, I think you should just be able to do um, this an this animation here without even having to, to grab them in an in initial time. Um, but I um, funny thing was I was trying to do this. I was so focused on it. I, I was um, uh, not letting anything distract me as I possibly could. And then I I was just so fucking pissed that I that I got up and left and. Then I came back, and, and my first try, I was uh, I was pausing it a couple times, talking, texting, um, you know, in break time during the fight because there's a couple segments here that are clipped together without you knowing because you know I don't like pause screens on my walkthrough. But I was barely paying attention to that fight to the to the assassins. I was barely paying attention, and I did it no damage. And then whereas before I. I was so fucking focused and determined, and that's the sign of a of a horrible fight. If you can do the fight um, and have so much trouble when you're focusing on it, and yet do it again later, it, you know I have a I have a um, I don't know where I was going with that, but I'm just trying to say I have um, all respect for a great fight but but this one is just lousy and I, I was barely like I said I was barely paying attention and I did that no damage so I'm not trying to say that I'm great at doing things when I don't put much thought or effort into them because that's not true it's just because that fight is just um, it's gonna let you win when it lets you win you know those assholes throwing those blades constantly and then you've got the pressure of the um, the automaton in the middle, and one of the good things that you can do though is to do the Hyperion charge, knock folks down, throw them uh, ahead of you, and knock other people down while you're trying to close in. Because the worst thing about that fight is that enemy, those assassins, they run away from you. So it's it's very very fucking frustrating to have one enemy uh, that runs and backs away from you constantly while you're trying to close in distance. And and all and just grab him. It's so fucking frustrating. I would rather do the Jaren fight every fucking day, uh, but this fight is a pleasure to do. I love this fight. There are three Minotaurs, and it, a good strategy here. It's risk versus reward, though, folks. Um, use yourself as bait. Stand near the Minotaur, and then the Gorgons will uh, fire their beam. And if all goes according to your plan. Uh, if and it, of course your plan of course if it was to uh, stone freeze and shatter the the minotaurs and maybe some gorgons it'll all go good for you really good um yeah what a lovely fight this is a uh, a very lovely fight but um i've got some strange news it, it's it's bad and it but it has a good ending though you know how i said when i first beat the gerons it was a shitty fight. I didn't like it. I was pausing on the quick time events of the Gerons because I was so terrified that I would lose them. Um, I 
scrap that fight remember I told you but then I did it again and it was a very good fight and I consider a very good fight of Jaron's even if you have a sliver of health when you win that's still a very good fight because that fight is, is monstrously difficult um, other times I've been casually talking it and talking about it and, and saying that it's not that hard let me just let me just stop it it is very difficult it truly is very difficult um, you have to you have to focus and, and hunt complete undivided attention at least I do I, I can't have any distractions and I actually put the music down a little bit in the settings and the sound effects up because I like to hear when the um, uh, what are they called the Gerons are teleporting because they constantly do that All right here we are back at the Nexus of Atlantis oh but what I was saying though uh, so the first one I scrapped the second one I did very well um, and then what happened was the file that I th thought that was um, the let me just how do I say this I hate this part by the way here, just, here here's a summation of what happened real quick the, the fight that I wanted got deleted and the fight that I didn't want the first fight that I ever did and won uh, that was the one that I um, had not deleted and it's uh, it's really sad but this part over here there's um, this is the second time we're doing this since the Methana volcano um, but these these this um, this set of the bugs up here these wretches now these ones will not be a problem for you because closing in distance is easy on that one but these ones spawn way down the down the uh, tunnel um, so it's uh, quite difficult all you need to do though is just grab kill these guys um, and it's a, bit, a little bit about luck like that's not anything that's related to skill right there how many times did that take me well I got hit once and then I re restarted the checkpoint, and then I did it the second time. It wasn't like a four-hour ordeal like the, the previous thing was with those wretches. But no, the file that I wanted got deleted, and I was left with that shitty fight. And I said, fucking bastards. You know, so what I had to do was I had to redo the fight because I don't want that fight in my walkthrough. I, I want a good fight, uh, just, you know, without... I, here's, I just didn't like it. That's the thing. I just did not like that footage. I hope that's easy to understand for people you know who record video games. Um, one note about this. After you hit him with the, um, with the gear, um, wait until the camera pans and stops, and then jump. Otherwise, there's a problem with the, with the game where you'll fall in the water there. So... Um, you, you get spawned like right there and you don't have to redo the wretches or anything but just be careful and let everything let the world settle back uh, this part's dog shit I hate I think any f part with these lords these fucking lord jesuses is um, is a it's just a trash fest all right so let's quickly just I, I wanted to I want to finish that topic that I was talking about uh, by the way I like to stand at the very top over here and do, deal with these guys so that I keep the archers off screen um, the archers are, are a nuisance. So, um, so I said to myself, if this is the only file I have, um, and since I didn't want it, uh, I'll, I'm going I'm to delete that one, uh, which forced me into doing the Gerons again. And you might say, well, wouldn't you have to do the Gerons anyway? Um, no, I wouldn't have because I've already done them before and I have a save point um, after them successfully done you know um, and I could always skip it there's a couple skips for that fight too but I said um, since I don't want that fight since I don't have the other footage I'll just do the fight again I think it took um, remember I said it took an hour before it's just a curse because you know now it's gonna take fucking forever and you're gonna worry that you can't do it the guy's gonna have to be deleted or something but um, I did it again and I think it took about um, Honestly, I haven't been sitting here long, and I've been doing things. I'm gonna say like two, two hours probably, maybe two and a half hours. Um, I was I was just getting impatient too. A lot of the fights I lost through sheer impatience. So, but it's it's a decent fight. Now, when when you when you see me finish the fight, I'm gonna have a sl tiny sliver of life. And no, we haven't got damaged at all so far on this game. So. Um, when we get hit by the Gerons, that will be the first time we've taken damage so far in this campaign. And I think that's good. I like that. 
Isn't it the first time? Yeah, I think it was. Um, I think it is, excuse me. Ah, uh, those, those, those fucking Gerons. I don't know why there's Harpies there, too, but... Oh, man, those fuckers need damage. They need damage. They, they, they are so, so tanky. You have no idea. Level 1 blades? Oh, fuck, man. You've got to keep level-headed in that fight. You really do. And I, um... I'm going to pretty much just go over what we're going to be doing on it um, because we are going to get there pretty quickly actually and two, two, and a half, two to two and a half hours I don't think that's too bad quite honestly we have a, a little swimming section coming up but I've, I've got to say that the Gerons are uh, a huge difficulty spike. I mean, it's it's um it's like the loom chamber in difficulty. Although uh, pain plus on a, on loom chamber, this, you know, the Gerons are not as hard as that. But um, or the final bosses on God of War, you know, with just an upgrade run. N never mind a pain plus run, but um, but still, still, it's still for. Um, for the series and for the franchise, this fucking part is, it is monstrously difficult. Now though, because we are getting near to the Gerons, let us talk about your wants on this fight. Now, what would you like to do? Would you prefer to have um, one satyr? Uh, I'm sorry, um, one of the Gerons most of the time? Well, I, I would be remiss in telling you at least what it is. So with the Harpies, when you start to kill them, the Gerons will spawn. So the set, the first Geron will spawn after you kill two Harpies, and then the second Geron will spawn after you kill um, four four of the Harpies. So if you leave, um, it, it's basically you're going to be leaving one Harpy or two Harpies. If you like two, you know the two is kind of a lot for me, but I only like one hanging around but that is the way to you'll have a uh, you know a harpy flying in the air around the fight ambiently and every so often it will try to attack you and it's kind of a nuisance so i i'm gonna say if you want to try it go for it taz11 has it on his channel um you, you could easily find it uh just type in like taz1 harpy method geron you'll find it it'll come up there are many videos like that um, but as I said, I just wanted to focus on getting good fighting two of the Gerons because that's the only thing that's going to keep me alive. All right. And this fight, like I said, is fucking ridiculously hard. It is really hard because one hit from a Geron takes more than 50% of your health, which means you cannot survive two hits from a Geron teleport slam. Now, that's kind of scary when you think about it, right? Because that means you only get one mistake with the evade. However, if you get hit by um, the, the Geron's lightning attack and a, a ground punch from the teleport, you can still survive. You have a sliver of life like you'll see I have. When the fight starts, you'll uh, be attacked down here by four harpies. These are the Harpy Widows, I believe, but they don't shoot that Freeze Breath. Now, after you start killing them, you are going to uh, encounter the Gerons coming up. Now, it, it is your prerogative, like I said, about how many Harpies you want to keep around, if you want to keep any. So this strategy is going to show you uh, the simple dodge of, of this and how to maintain control. So here they are, wielding their huge uh, electricity orbs. You notice that they shoot electricity from their right hand, and they um they will continually teleport i'm not i'm not sure how exactly it works but sometimes um they can teleport um like a, a second or two after one another and it's nearly impossible to get that to work for you because there's just no time to recover um like i've never had it so where like they were teleporting at the same time but you need a moment to be able to dodge it and move around and look for the other one before he teleports. So it usually does work out. Um, you don't really need to put any extra effort in 
making sure that it works. However it works, the game has it, has it for you. Um, so they will teleport uh, about every uh, like 10 seconds, sometimes even uh, faster. You, now you have, like I said, one mistake on this is going to give you like 60% uh, off of your health. So you need to be very careful about that. And these enemies don't give out health either, which I think is kind of preposterous. Because it is a huge tank of an enemy with an almost unending amount of health. And it's just, uh, you know, sad that it gives you magic and not health. So yeah, that's what it gives you. It gives you magic. Um, so what you really need to look out for is when you are doing this, this is all you have to do. Stand here, you know, stand wherever you are, evade the attack of the one, and then keep your eye on that, um, I'm sorry, evade the attack of the one, obviously, that slams the orb into the ground, and then now, focus on the other one. You need to focus your attention on him, because he's going to be uh, the next one that you target, and then it just goes back and forth and back and forth. See here, evade, and then keep an eye on the one that is uh, ripe to evade there. And then, during the periods of being able to hit, uh, just go for your hits. I, I like to do TST, but um, there is a move that they do that uh, kind of bothers me. It's a rare move that they do. Uh, it comes out of nowhere, practically, where they uh, smash their foot into the ground and have... Oh, fuck. Yep. I'm not perfect. I never. Well, actually, I did say I was perfect on one of the videos, but no, no, no. Um, yeah, I, I make mistakes. I'm. Go that's the first time we've got damage so far in this game. And uh, why the hell don't they give you health? That's uh, that's ludicrous. Um, but you have to be very careful that um, you don't stand in front of them and just stand behind them, but never stand behind them for too long. That's why you'll always see me um, reserved when I'm behind them. And when I get just have one of them, it's going to be a lot easier because we don't have to dodge twice. But the dodge, you can you can get the timing for that just by simple practice. I can't, I can't just tell you when the dodge is. Um, so yeah, like what I said, these these fuckers need damage because they just take forever. Um, and you you've just got to really be careful because um, you. You can get caught sometimes if you um, if you think that they might fire the electricity and you're kind of going behind them, and, and then the, all of a sudden like they don't fire the electricity and they go into their teleport mode. Um, recovering from that is very difficult. You might need to do the combat roll to give yourself a little acceleration and, and boost there um, to get out of the way of that. Be very careful not to do that uh, Olympic ascension after you do the super plume too. So, which way do you roll with this enemy? How can you possibly tell? You can't. They are, they roll wherever they want to. They, they go where they want, they teleport, and they slam their, their rock wherever the hell they want to. So this, like I said before, this is not trying to figure out which way you're supposed to roll. Just roll away from them at the right time. It's just, it really is as simple as that. I know this is a monstrously difficult fight. It, it's fucking tough. But I'm, I'm saying, once you have the roll, you can roll right into them for all for all you care, you know, because you have the iframes. You're iframing through their attack. It's the best you can do with this roll. I mean, it's, it's pretty bad. So there, there does come a point over here where I take some more damage, and this is, uh, it, it's pretty nerve wracking. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it, it, it is, but it's, it's a good feeling though when, when you can actually learn. Uh, you know, to have the patience to do something like this, and also keep an eye on keep an eye on them, and you know they're very predictable. It's the same thing over and over again. You just never want to stand in front of them for too very long. This is a very defensive and offensive enemy. It's it, it's like a passive aggressivity actually. But what you want to look out for though is when you are doing the super plume, you want to make sure if you think that they're going to do the electricity and then they go into their teleport you you really need to scramble for cover and just scurry quickly and um, block I, I like to block cancel that's what I do just block cancel and then um, you know if you have to uh, use the super use the uh, the combat role for it 
And it's it's just a uh, pretty much a waiting game until they go down. And oh, here we go. Finally, one doing down. Now, why did I approach that one and then go back? Uh, well, because I thought what I would do is um, I, I I perfectly know. Well, I thought I was going to maybe kill them simultaneously, get the circle button prompt over both of them. Ooh, there we go. I, I got distracted probably. I'm not sure what happened right there. Um, I th I was going, like I said, I was going to wait to get the circle button prompt over both of them, but, um, you know, because that way it wouldn't really screw too much with the timing, but since that one fell, it it's going to, um, it's going to be, uh, the timing is going to be different anyway, you know, and it might even have even been worse for me. Um, so what I need to do now, I didn't know it at the time, but this, this second one, um, he doesn't have um, just a small amount of life. I didn't realize that. I had hoped that I, I could kill him pretty quickly. But um, I'm, I am definitely, I'm keeping my eye on him, and I'm just making sure that I, I finish him off first, get him the hell out of here, and then it's just you and one of them. And then it, at, at that point, you, you wanted me to say, like, you win at that point. It's pretty much over. Well, the Gerons are tough, even even for one of them. You know, they will they will hit you when you you don't think so. And I hate that electricity attack that they do with their hand. I just hate it. I really, really wish that they didn't do that. So, it is a little difficult. Jeez, it's it's um it's nerve wracking. It really is. But they have that tell. They they bend their knee down. They, there's that sound effect, right? And then the screen goes white. There's also times when the one that you know is ripe for um, uh, the teleport gets off your camera. You're going to have to um, use the white screen, that, you know, the flashing white screen, that as a signpost about when you need to dodge. So there's been many times in this fight where um, I couldn't even see the guy that was teleporting. He was off the screen, and I had to to blindly use the um, the white flash of the screen to do the timing. Um, not bad, uh, not bad. I mean, um, I did miss one roll, so that's what you know, nine out of ten, pretty much for for my performance. It's it's not it's good enough to get past, but yeah, this is uh, it's just. Uh, a horror fest <laughs> it's scary man i mean it's it's frightening you know the the stakes of what's going on over here so now we've killed two did you see how long it took to kill that you know all those enemies and here we go with this one a fresh one pretty much and what i would really love to do i think you saw me do it on the one that we fought at the beginning of this video is i just want to stand behind him and do uh, TST. TST. I really don't want to do the Super Puma. It's a little wild. I like the TST for its damage. It does more damage than SST. And um, the move is controlled. And it's. I feel safe doing it. But look at my health. I, I can't survive anything. I think if I screwed up the quick time event, I might live. But it's, it's a close call about that. I, I have no clue if I would survive. But yeah, you see how... Um, uncontrolled the super boom can be and I could accidentally uh, hold the triangle button longer than I wanted to and accidentally do the the ascension and I don't want to do that at all so just keep your distance from him and concentrate hard and what's going to happen is that he will die eventually however the thing is you know why can't I do that it's because they do this random move that from what I've seen there is next to no, and if there is, there's just a tiny sliver of uh, visual telegraphing of the move where they stamp their feet into the ground like they're just angry, and they do this AOE around them. And if you're anywhere close to them, any on any side of them, you, know, you get hit. It doesn't take too much away, but do you see, like I said, do you see my health? I can't survive anything. I certainly can't survive that. So I can't stay close to this guy for fear if he'll do that move. Um, they definitely do it if you're behind them and you're hitting them too much. They will do it, trust me. But they also do it if you just come up to them sometimes and they just randomly do it. So 
I, I don't want to take that chance, so I'm going to keep my distance, uh, and that means I'm going to use a super plume. You know, it's it's an unfair move, and I, I really object that it doesn't have much uh, telegraphing to it. And you get caught in it, and it's just, it's over. <laughs> I never thought I would beat the, Ger the Gerons. <laughs> And we'll see. I'm gonna. We'll have to. We'll have to see how things go because there's only one challenging fight coming up through the rest of the game. I mean, they're all. No, there's the boss is challenging a little bit, but mainly, um, it's that anti-gamer fight. <laughs> the anti-gamer fight. Oh Jesus. Ah oh, Lord Jesus, come down and save me. Sometimes when you're attacking them and they're behind you, they turn around instantly. It's really, really bizarre. This enemy is um, is inexcusable. You know why? Because it gives out magic. It, this thing really needed to give big enemies like Cyclopses and this thing. It, it should give health out. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. You know what I would love to do is get behind him and have all of my hits from the super plume connect with him and and deal some massive damage but i'm gonna bide my time all i all i care about is just getting through it you know this is not a big performance show of oh no no damage i've not ever been able to do no damage i've done this three times though successfully there's also you could actually roll through the gate too at the beginning if you're quick enough and kind of just go through it i don't know how he does it but there's a couple of ways you could do the infinite jump over it with the arms of sparta Oh, but man, the relief. <laughs> Can you believe how much HP they have? I, I know we're at level 1 blades, for God's sakes, but jeez, man. Fuck. Oh, there we go. Finally. Do not screw these quick time events up. Don't do it, Buck. There we go. Smash and bash. Oh, shit. Wipe the sweat off your forehead. Holy moly. <laughs> if you did that fight... Give yourself a pat on the back, man. That is that is tough. It's tough shit. I am going to let the rest of the video play out. I will see you in the 10th installment. Please do take care.